Okay. So the problem statement was build a product to buy and sell antiques. So before going into the actual solution and everything, uh, there are some questions that could be asked, which I have turned into assumptions. So first is antique, according to me, refers to an item more than fifty years old. Right. It can be something like uh, more than thirty years old or more than hundred years old, but we have assumed that it is more than fifty years old. The second is, uh, what kind of a product do we need? We uh, app, uh, website, or physical store as well. So for phase one, we have decided to go only with website. Then the third assumption is, which kinds of items are we talking about in case of antiques? So all kinds of items which are shippable. That is like uh, we can go from small items such as a keychain until furniture, but not a car, at least for the online model. Then the fourth would be uh, what kind of region are we looking into? So we have kept it only to uh, towards the US market. Then uh, we'll see what kind of competition there is. So um, there are like two competitions currently for the same space: uh, Shopify and Wix. Then uh, there's user persona. So there are four user personas. One would be a regular seller, would which would be like a wholesale merchant. Who would be dealing with uh, selling all his stuff? Second would be a one-time seller, which is like uh, if I inherited something from my grandma, which is more than fifty years old, then I just want money in uh, place of that. So I would go into the website to sell my particular thing. That would be like a one-time sell. Uh, third would be a one-time purchaser. Uh, which would be like I just bought a new home, and there's one corner which is left, and I think a great um, frame would go in that place. So I would be just buying it one time. So that would be a one-time purchaser. Then fourth would be a wholesale buyer. For example, uh, if I have a small uh, WhatsApp group to do my uh, day-to-day business, then I would be importing or on uh, ordering stuff. On a wholesale basis, so that would be someone who is a wholesale buyer. Then uh, this is the user journey. One is like user can search, view the item, view the product images and details, and add the items to cart. Then second would be a seller can list all the items they have on the website and add product details, images, and pricing details. Third would be a uh, user can purchase the product and payment will be processed through secure medium, and seller will receive the payment and receipt will be available for both to view and download. Then the fourth would be the user can add reviews and ratings for that particular product as well as the seller. Uh, in this user journey and overall product, the key components that we should uh, look for uh, is first verified sellers. Uh, we should look that uh, whoever are the sellers are uh, verified and they are not fraudulent. The second would be ease of use for the customer. So uh, the design perspective as well as uh, just the process flow should be very easy so that the user won't have any problem in uh, going from the first step till making the purchase. Third would be a secured money transaction. So the most important part when we talk about antiques is like, of course, it's not going to be something which is going to be cheap all the time. There can be uh, a lots of money involved in it, and hence um, even buyers as well as sellers would be looking for a secure money transaction uh, service. So that would be a key component to look for. And the fourth would be rating center too. As this would be a new uh, website, uh, we would need to build. Everyone would need to build their own ratings as well as their brand image uh, with respect to all different sellers as well. So the, all the users would be uh, eligible to do the ratings and review, and hence it will um, build up the quality of our website. Then what I thought about is uh, also some additional services which could be provided. So. Uh, at the initial uh, level, we would be doing uh, for the initial seller acquisition. We would be providing branding workshops to the sellers and offer professional portfolio creation, so that uh, whenever the uh, sellers would be uh, portraying their particular products, they would have a professional portfolio uh, created, so that which will help the buyers to develop a trust in them with respect to the images 
and the actual products that would be said sold then uh, i thought about future scope as we assumed that this particular phase was only for website uh, currently then the second uh, that i thought would be a future scope first would be ar view of the antique in your personal space as you can see in this image is that this is kind of your hall and there's a product like the frames that you are viewing on the website this is the antique uh, frame so what we can uh, um, provide is that along with just seeing the images of the product we can view uh, give them a ar view so that you can actually see how that antique will look into your personal space wherever you want to place it uh then the second scope i thought is that acquisition of thrift stores under our brand name so given uh, so for giving an analogy uh we all must be knowing that oyo has its own townhouses which is like the own hotels that it runs as well as oyo has operated hotels which is owned by individual owners so in the same way what we can do is uh we can acquire trip stores which would be managed and uh managed by us but owned by some uh, random individual people but it would uh follow a certain um particular framework or process that a uh, user can experience it would be like a user experience center how a user can experience the website it would be something similar that they would actually see in the physical world so yeah this is what i thought about building a product to buy and sell and it's any one has any question or any suggestions yeah so i think uh, interesting way of looking at it uh, any any suggestions i have thoughts which i would but i want to ask others what what i think uh, uh so not, yeah yeah go ahead and go ahead yeah yeah so so in general uh, like it it's a i would say like not a suggestion or anything but definitely it's very structured is what you have uh, clearly uh, shown up your clarity in terms of uh, dividing the user persona or user journey or even assumptions so that it sets the tone in terms of what we are looking and i think what i would say is uh, what differentiates uh, our uh, whatever we are building as a product to buy and sell antiques what it i mean what is that quality that differentiates uh, us from the competition like shopify and wix is something that i would just want a bit more highlight uh, from shay if you can ask if you have something yeah i think uh, it i think the ease of use that we would be able to provide by our ui and ux and uh, as i said in the key components so i think just the verified sellers ease of use and uh, secure money transaction is maybe what we can market our product to differentiate yeah but we can definitely highlight on the differentiations yes yashwant you had thoughts yeah 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 uh, so first of all very structured uh, uh, way of putting things share uh my question over here if i'm not sure if i missed this or uh, something uh, what your exact definition of antique is can you just uh, put light on it yeah so antique refers to any item which is more than 50 years old it could be anything as simple as a keychain or something with a very collect collector uh, level ex- uh, thing which could be a, a disney ticket which is more than 50 years old so it can also be an antique so yeah anything more than 50 years old makes sense yeah so my question on this is uh... so if i were to buy some antique item i always look for the authenticity i don't want uh, to buy a duplicate product so how are we going to make sure that the seller is the product listed on our page is going to be authentic yeah um what i think is that if you all also know that there is a series called pa paw and pawn stars uh so we can see that there are many people uh, who are actually authentic uh, maybe archaeologists or collectors who uh, who can give that uh, their shield of verification so when i meant uh, the key component as a uh, verified sellers we would be um, doing a background check just to know uh, what kind of uh, certifications or uh, quality maybe verification we can do with respect to their uh, products 
Yeah, you can look into. So, uh, yeah. So just to uh, discuss further about what Josh was mentioning, something which is that is the kind of pain point uh, or maybe a something uh, a catering to uh, people who may face the generality. Uh, con- you know, and what you also share, you mentioned porn stars, right? Uh, they are uh, they are definitely selling antiques, and it's a quite famous show. We have seen that, but. they are doing it through a, a human process or a manual process of verifying those things so how we can capture that user journey in in the application is something would be really uh, you know gem uh, if we are able to do, do or uh, do a part of that verification uh, over you know uh, over the app or maybe a product that we create yeah this is something i hadn't thought but uh, now that you uh, mentioned uh, just a thought on the fly that uh, every time a seller puts in any new product maybe it can go through a check from uh, maybe we can have our own team of such people who are actually verified uh, people who have the knowledge of antiques and then they can actually verify and then only that particular product will go on sale we can add that point mm-hmm. yeah mayur has some point yeah mayur please Hey guys, uh, good morning first of all. Uh, Shreya, it's a great idea. I loved it, and uh, the structure is also very nice. So uh, great work. So uh, my uh, thing was uh, in uh, antique products buying and selling. The most major concern is regarding the authenticity of the product, right? So uh, if we could uh, do something regarding verifying the authenticity of the product, then it would be really great because uh, buyers are willing to pay any any sort of amount who are uh, you know into this uh, thing. But the the only concern that bothers them is the authenticity of the product. So if we could do something, add a, a verified label. or something like that the thing that we were discussing right now then it could be great so they would be assured and uh, our platform would be more popular so that one thing we can definitely add to this is what i would suggest yeah i agree yeah we can add that uh, yeah so just a uh, uh, add on thought to what i what i, I and ankit were mentioning regarding the authenticity so shreya your point was uh, legit valid that uh, you could actually verify one user and then put it on the platform saying this is a verified user and uh, just it's a thought on the fly so you mentioned acquiring thrift sh- stores and uh, something like a oeo thing right mm-hmm. so maybe what we can do is uh, uh, we can actually have our uh, authentic verification officers sitting in the town houses or like whatever you call it and uh, if somebody has to uh, list their product so maybe uh, if it is costing a little more over 10000 usd let's say so he has to come to the store and get it very uh, verified and then we'll give them a certificate and that is when they get that's a blue tick mark on the website saying this is already verified and it's a genuine product so maybe we could do that it is just an idea yeah yeah that works yeah man Hi everyone. Uh, thanks for this insights and this is a really great initiative. This is the first time that I am able to attend this and thankful to everyone who is doing this. Uh, one thing that I wanted to provide just to have you know just to direct the conversation towards that end is that most of the antique items that that is sold across the world are sold through auction, right? So in our process or in our website, do we have any something any any feature or any uh you know uh, functionality where we are providing that option of having auction because if it is something that is archaeological you know um, excavation or discovery as on earth something that is really valuable people, many people might want to buy it and some auction should help them yeah i think that's a future scope that could be added uh, i mean it can be something which could be added yeah that would help I think the deal yeah. plans. Sorry. Yeah, plus the reason this point is because if if we look at it, like if we have to differentiate between an antique shop and a pawn shop where people are just selling something that is that is a heirloom or something that they have had for 
very long time or generational passed down thing then that that is something that is being sold in pawn shop so now if you are saying our our shop is antique shop then we have to differentiate between something that is like truly antique compared to something that is passed down by some great grandfather to descendant so that differentiation is something that that i i will i believe that we should include in in this part to just differentiate our, us from the other place but it is my opinion again it's open for discussion and i'm have ma'am ma'am that that that's the reason i call her away because i want to understand the other perspectives Yeah. I think it is something that we would be assuming uh, when we, we would be starting. Like, what kind, what does antique mean according to you? And then you can build your website based on that. So for Makes me, sense. it can be something uh, which is inherited, but for you, it can't be. So maybe, but yeah, definitely. No, no, I I I agree. I agree with your initial definition also. But I mm-hmm. I heard somewhere that you know archaeological excavation and archaeological digging, and that's where I I thought that if that is the way, if that is the product that we are planning to sell, then probably auction might help. But if it is something that we are like fifty year old or if we are sticking to our original definition, then what we have is is fitting. Yeah. Uh, I am just curious. uh the one thing which was really awesome was the user journey and the competition which you added we usually don't uh go to that wide scope of talking about competition or user journey that's awesome but i wanted to know uh the when you can scroll down when you talk about features uh, do they actually have any problems which is uh, solving so uh, is it, i want to know whether you uh, whether you did not write those problems or what was the yeah thing? the thing is uh, the key um, i know there can be a, <clears throat> a regular method of writing problems and then solutions mm. but what i thought of is the outcome of both the problems and solutions is what i merged into the key components mm-hmm. uh, each point is what i think can be a problem and hence there can be a solution in each component as we can say the verified itself so the problem from that particular point is that the user would be worried whether or not that particular seller is a fraudulent one and mm-hmm. if we can trust on that or not and the solution to that would be that we would be providing um, like a certified t- a tick or something like that so that uh, all our sellers would be uh, verified uh, would be verified so yeah that is how i thought of putting the key components so that each a point mentions a po- problem and a solution in itself Okay, interesting. That that's nice. Okay. Any other thoughts? I guess I think this is a new way of uh, presenting uh, design solutions. Uh, one thing I just want to uh, say. So um, I I'm not a uh, like I don't recall how the journey used to happen for a so for a user it was very straightforward for the uh, the pawn shops or pawn star who you who were having uh, co- you know user is walking in and they are. Uh, Uh, trying to find the options that they want to see, and based on the historical, uh, like the age of the product and the value, and the history it carries uh, or the story it has, the value of the product was decided, and they negotiated. And I think that's what I remember that they used to negotiate, and then they finalized the deal, and it was all sold. Uh, so before this, like even starting a, a user walking in could be via an app for our, our case. but uh, where is like before that we have to have the products which are going to be sellable and at the same time um, valuable for the user in terms of the story they tell and the authenticity it they come with so that journey if you are able to break in terms of like if you are able to get it in the some kind of uh, application it gives a, a sense of Uh, so so it, that journey is not only for the that is user persona for the buy, uh, for the seller as well right so if seller is registering themselves for the first time and they have certain products that they want to list so they would also go through a user journey uh, for verifying their products and then registering uh, and authenticating on the on our application which uh, is also captured and then th- that captured could be more of a journey and that could also be showcased to the user in any possible way via app so that they uh, are very well aware about what they are buying and how authentic that product is yeah no yeah, i think that's a great suggestion that we can add the seller verification and their journey as part of uh, user journey as well yeah yeah thank you